This is Brian Putt. Today I'd like to talk to you about correlating two random variables. Correlation is available in the enterprise version of SIPMAP, but not in the free version. In this particular model, I have two variables, which are defined here as a steel index and a platform cost, which get added together to give a total cost. The, they are represented by triangular distributions with the minimum, most likely a max, as shown here. I have shown the distributions of those two triangulars here. This is total cost of those two components, and here is the total of the two. Total cost 1568. Uh, this shows the correlation of the two variables, and we can see that they're basically uncorrelated. The correlation is calculated over here as being 0 0.019. So our task is to correlate these two variables using a correlation factor of 0.75. The way we're going to do this is we're going to generate correlated uniform distributions and then use those correlated uniform distributions in calculating the triangulars. So we'll do that by highlighting these two variables and come up here to SIPMAP, generate input, uniform, correlated, down here at the bottom there's correlated distributions, uniform, so we'll do uniform. And then it wants to know the correlation matrix. We need to define the square matrix that's got ones on the diagonal and the correlation factors on the lower half. The top half doesn't have to be filled out. So we'll highlight these four cells here. It wants a random cell. Now these are going to be independent random variables. The correlated random variables are going to be over here, which is where we define them. That's the distributions. And we need some start variable IDs or seeds. And I'm going to use the same seeds I used for the other variables. We'll say OK. So now these two variables are correlated, these uniforms. Now, we could either regenerate these triangular distributions using these correlated uniforms, or what we can do is actually take this uniform, which is used in this distribution, and set it equal to this. So let's do that. So I'm going to say equals, and it's right up here. And then we'll do the same thing here. Equals, I don't know why it's doing that. Okay, so now those are correlated by 0.75, and we can look down here at this correlated uh, graphic, and you can certainly see the correlation, and the calculated correlation is 0.74. But what would be interesting to do is to compare the total cost with and without correlation. So let's put this back to a zero correlation. We don't have to undo what we just did. We now have a zero correlation. I'm going to come back here to the SIPMAP chart data, take the total cost, copy it, and I'll just paste it as values over here. And then I'm going to change the title here to correlated or uncorrelated, uncorrelated total cost. All right. Then we'll come back to our model, and I'm going to copy this graphic. Come over here to the SIPMAP chart data, collapse the outline, open up the cumulative, hit control home, paste in my chart. Now what you'll see is that this graph is based on this total cost. What I want to do is I want to move it over to this column here, such that I have this reference. So I'm going to move the data and I'll move the title. So now I've got this graphic. I'm going to copy it, come back over here to this model, and I'm going to paste it on top of this one. And we'll add the legend. So we have, right now they're the same thing. The total cost is 1568. And they're both identical. The two lines are on top of each other. But what I'd like to do is I want to change now the correlation to 0.75. So let's see what happens. 0.75. So 
So now let's look at our answer here. This is the total cost. So the total cost with correlation is the orange. And you can see it has a wider uncertainty than the uncorrelated version. And that's what we would expect with correlation. If I put this to 1, you should even get wider. But you'll notice that the, the means are basically the same. And at a correlation of 1, and I've looked at the scatter diagram, it's more or less a straight line. This little kink in here has to do with the asymmetry of the triangular distributions. Hope this helps you in generating correlations among your random variables. This applies to not only the triangular, but to any other um, distributions in SIPMath. And the correlation matrix can be as big as you want. So I've used a 2 by 2 here, but it could be a, a 5 by 5 or a 10 by 10 or whatever you might want.